Hello my lovelies, welcome to day six, yes, can you believe we're at day six? Oh yes I can, <laughs> it's Monday the 6th, no it's not, it's Tuesday the 6th, I've lost track of days, oh crikey. Right, day six, so we'll get all the newsy stuff out of the way. So um, we are day six for Tracy's uh, Advent Tags challenge and the lovely Chantal Lepage is doing uh, the demo today for you all so go over to Tracy's website and click on Chantal and that will give you the link so all the stuff down below on the rest of the lovely peeps that are helping with this uh, uh, advent tag challenge for Tracy uh, everything down below also hope you managed to check out yesterday's extra video I know I know two two it was stressful let me tell you <laughs> stressful trying to upload two videos in an internet that's not fiber optic oh yes anyway go and check that out if you've missed it that is a collaboration I'm doing with the wonderful Jovi from creating with Jovi and uh, um, a host of other lovely ladies and go and check all their offerings out for week one it's a December weekly challenge so that if you can't fit every day in then you could just do the weekly or like me do both and uh, cause yourself a load of stress <laughs> so speaking of stress we need to get our mindfulness advent calendar open now you're not going to believe this. This was, I've written it on, on this tag of traces. This was my horoscope yesterday. And I thought this is so apt for so many of us. Happiness cannot be bought with money. Do you know what makes you happy? The joy of achievement and the thrill of creativity. How apt is that? I was thrilled to bits. I've put it in my diary. I've written it in my diary. So let's do the mindfulness first and you can feast your eyes. We've got day four and five there, the last two tags we did. I'm going to get this. There's a, there's a snow bear here with his earmuffs on. Let's have a look what he's going to tell us to do today. Our oh, cute team. Lovely. So if you've missed it, uh, we are doing the advent calendar in a jar. And this is from embracingmindfulness.com. Now then, we knew we couldn't go far without watching a Christmas film. And actually we watched, forgotten what we watched yesterday. The original one with Chris Tingle in. And they had to prove that he was the Rudolph real, 34th real father Christmas. So there, uh, David shouted, Rudolph on 34th and Street. Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle on 34th Street, even. Yeah, there might be a Rudolph on there somewhere, but not in this film. <laughs> so this is Watch a Christmas Film. The TV schedule is full of Christmassy films, heartwarming tales that explore the magic of Christmas and the human spirit. Your task is to choose a Christmas film to watch, but instead of letting the story pass by as a mere piece of entertainment, Watch it mindfully. Concentrate on the emotions you feel as the narrative progresses. I think that's gorgeous and that's a wonderful film. If you haven't seen it, The Miracle on 34th, yep. 43rd, 21. <laughs> Place, pay close attention to the ways in which film portrays the magic of Christmas and what does it say about the spirit of the season. I think that is a wonderful thing and it's that's a wonderful film all about kindness, caring, uh, all about working together and of course the wonderful Father Christmas is in there. Okay, that's for today then. So for day six, we'll shove that in there ready for me to do. Day five, I've got a space about here for day six. Okay then, so let's chill and let's get on to tag six. So today's stitch, my lovelies, sheaf stitch. 
we have done it before I thought we had we did it on a sewn cover that we did in uh, Tuesday sewing so when we were doing some embroidered covers can't remember which journal it was on let me know if you've bought one of them journals that's got this sheave stitch in um, it might be you Karina I'm not sure I can't quite remember so day six I've got my bits and bobs ready and uh, before we start we brought the Christmas I usually say we brought the Christmas presents out the loft yesterday and uh, no we've moved into an apartment so it's out the cupboard now not quite the same is it and I found I wondered where my uh, wonderful Christmas stencils were they're here so I'm really thrilled we can use them and then I made that oh do you know what I like that piece of pianola paper very fragile with all the holes in but this is one of those sticky labels that I stuck on top of vellum and I think it is very effective so we'll put that on we don't want anything too heavy on there do we So yeah, so uh, if you haven't checked out my December weekly video from yesterday, go and have a look at it. Don't look at the Christmas trees I made too closely. <laughs> Don't look at anything I made too closely. That's that's the that's the key. <laughs> right, I like that. Okay, so I have gathered some bits and bobs here that I want to use, and firstly. Um, I've cut out this wonderful frame um, from one of Tracy's kits and we've got this lady here in the background where I've made the journal and I thought it'd be nice to have her in there just need to measure that there it's covering up my number six so I'm going to cut a bit off and I'm going to put that round so I hope you are managing to uh, keep up I mean it doesn't matter some people you know so busy leading up to Christmas especially if you're in retail they do all their December dailies in the Christmas week off and do them all together and uh, yeah what a wonderful uh, plethora of videos and inspiration that will be all put together by then probably the best time to do it why is that not sticking stick it's because I've got something underneath it there we go so there is our little pocket we peekaboo in the lady now what I've done is I've got some um, one tags on the um, I think this is a glad tidings kit of traces and I've put some bits together there and one of the fragile take care tags I've uh, put an eyelet in and my aim was to put this in here yes it just goes in there right okay so I want to put that in there but what I've prepared here I've got some old vintage fabric that I thought was like I've put it in the shape of a bauble and I have done sheaf stitch on it now don't worry we're going to do some more sheaf stitch so you can see how to do it but this was so fiddly I thought yeah I'll get it ready so let me pin that to here I've put that on there but what I want to do is I'm just going to put something down or else I'm going to be uh, making a mess so I am just going to do a bell through my stencil that's it I only wanted half of it done so that when we took it in here we've got the lady when we pull it out just 
be a bit careful with this bit but we've got the bell there as well when we haven't got the lady out so that's that bit there right sheaf stitch i've made a little tag out of some christmas card and where is my needle so i'm using my paper string i love this i keep eking it out because i'm frightened it'll run out i've not seen it since Oh, do you know, there's bells going for folks front door and goodness knows what here today. It's one of them days. Right then, I've just put that pin on there just to help us for now. I'm going to open this out because I don't want to sew it together. I want to close it so that we can take it out and write and do a bit of secret journaling. So I've got a, a little bit of vintage cotton here and it's got some scrappy edge, which I love. And we're just going to do what we'll do. I'll do a sheaf of one in the middle, a large one in the middle. So we need to do three lines. Not too well, it's up to you. The beauty of this is you can space the lines out exactly how you want. You could have them a lot wider if you wish, but this is okay for us. We're going through fabric so it will start to get a bit raggedy this paper string, so let's hope it holds out. Okay, so we've got our three stitches. We're going to come up in the middle, the left hand side of the middle stitch. We're going to thread it underneath the end stitch. You see that's in the middle. Then we're going to take it over and we're going to thread it underneath the end stitch like so and then we are going to go down on the right of our middle stitch and just tug gently and there you have it there's your sheaf stitch okay let's go over to this side and do another set So again, our three lines and you can practice this with all sorts of different. I mean, you know me, I have to be different and use un unusual threads uh, and incorporate paper into it as well. Now, that's a bit wide, so I'm going to do my middle one there. OK, so that's simple enough. Right, okay, so middle, left hand side of the middle thread, there, we come up. Okay, then we go underneath the left side, pull our thread over underneath the right side from right to left. And then we go down into the right side of the middle thread. Pull that gently and it pulls your sheaf together there like that. Okay, right, we'll do one here. Our three to start. It's, it's once you get the hang of it it's simple to do but can be very effective it's a good job we're only doing these few here left hand side of the middle stitch right to left through the left stitch pull your thread over right to left through your right stitch and down the right side of your middle stitch pull it together and there 
is your sheaf stitch and doesn't it look like it looks lovely in this you can see why I love this thread can't you okay so that's that I'll just put that in there now I want to put a bit of um tape on the back actually i think we'll have a bit of this this is left over from when i did my japanese journal and it's a bit sparkly so i think it's nice for christmas it's uh, whether i can get in it's another matter okay Oh, better take my pin out, and I? Better take my pin out there. Just neatens the back up where you've got all your stitches, look there. And then fold it. So you've got your sheaf stitch and a little bit of secret journaling in there. So let's put this in here. In this pocket here and we'll leave that like that because it's you know I like a scrappy do that goes there I think I'm gonna take that pin out when we're off camera and reposition it it's annoying me um, there we go thought we'd have a nice easy day today uh, so this is day six Okay, then we need to choose tomorrow's stitch. Helping hand, thank you. Okay, what have we got tomorrow? Running stitch. Now then, that'll be a nice one to do. Nice and easy day tomorrow for day seven. So thank you so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it you for being here each and every day and all all of you that are commenting every day to go into the prize draw um it's very much appreciated so like comment subscribe anything you can that can help my channel grow and i'll see you tomorrow bye for now